Ever since the advent of electric vehicles, the control and monitoring of lithium-ion batteries has gained importance. A BMS or a battery management system is an electronic device which does the same. Its functionalities include SOC estimation, cell balancing, temperature monitoring and so on. But unlike a combustion vehicle, the amount of fuel remaining, that is, the charge left in the battery cannot be directly measured using a sensor. Rather, an estimator is required to calculate the state of charge. Many previous literatures have adopted the use of techniques such as Coulomb counting, neural networks, etc. for state of charge estimation, but each pose their own limitations. Kalman filter is an optimal state estimator, often used for accurate state of charge estimation. In this paper, I, Ashwin, Sahil and Dr. Sudarshan Swain have performed a comparative analysis of different Kalman filters for state of charge estimation of lithium ion batteries. In this presentation, I will be talking about battery modeling, parameter and OCV estimation, state of charge estimation using different Kalman filters and their corresponding results. In order to create an electrical equivalent of a battery, the Thevenin or the equivalent circuit model is used. This consists of the uh, resistance R0 to model the instantaneous response as well as parallel, parallel RC pairs to uh, depict the delayed response. The mathematical representation of the equivalent battery can be uh, seen in these equations. Now these equations can be modified and the state space model consisting of the A, B, C and D matrices can be calculated as shown. In order to estimate the parameters R0, R1 and C1 of the e equivalent circuit model, uh, the sixth paper mentioned in the references slide has been used. As, as per their technique, a pulse discharge test has been carried on the battery and using the voltage versus time graph, the parameters R0, R1 and C1 are calculated. In order to estimate the open circuit voltage curve, the, the points corresponding to the conclu conclusion of the recovery period are collected and a polynomial fit using, a, uh, using the MATLAB curve fitter toolbox has been used to generate the open circuit curve. As mentioned previously, the Kalman filter is an optimal state estimator which allows for the estimation of indirect states. Now the Kalman filter consists of two steps. The number one prediction and the number two correction. In prediction, an estimate of the state is calculated using the state space model. And in the correction step, along with the measurement, a weighted average of the estimate and the measurement is considered to create a refined state estimate. The Kalman filter has a problem though. It, con it assumes that the system we are working on is a linear system. Unfortunately, since the battery is a non-linear system, the Kalman filter cannot be directly used. Hence comes the need of an extended Kalman filter. In an extended Kalman filter or an EKF, the system, the, the algorithm consists of an extra step which in which the state in which the system is linearized about the point of concern. But when the non-linearity in a system increases, the Approx the linear approximation does not does not work and hence the extended Kalman filter or the EKF can give suboptimal result. Hence, in order to accommodate these non-linearities, the, uh, certain changes or adaptations need to be made to the EKF algorithm to give a better result. Starting with the iterative extended Kalman filter, the IEKF, IEKF involves an additional step which includes recalculating the posteriori state estimate and the state uh, and the uh, estimation error covariance. Uh, this is done using multiple iterations and hence it provides a refined state estimate. For the adaptive extended Kalman filter, we it was assumed that in the EKF the value of Q matrix is considered constant or static. Now when there, there are changes in the noise levels, uh, the filter can provide a suboptimal result. Hence, 
the q matrix uh, keeps adapt adapting using uh, using the equation mentioned in the slide coming to the second order extended kalman filter now in the extended kalman filter the system was linearized by using the taylor series expansion and considering only the first term but the second order ekf consists con uses the second term as well hence by using the second term a a better approximation uh, a better linear approximation is considered and hence the a better state estimate is produced in the q adaptive extended kalman filter the q matrix which was initially static in the extended kalman filter is now ca calculated in every iteration using a moving average approach in the hybrid extended kalman filter the continuous system is converted to a discrete system and and, and the kalman filter and then the kalman filter the extended kalman filter algorithm is used and this uh, version provides its own advantages coming to the results it can be clearly seen that the second order ekf is the best state of charge estimator uh, with a, with a soc error of 1.184% this is mainly because of the fact that the second order uh, the second order approximation allows for a more accurate uh, uh, linearization of the uh, non linear uh, system and hence and hence the result on the other hand the hybrid extended kalman filter was the worst estimator now uh, the the q adaptive extended kalman filter and the uh, adaptive extended kalman filter showed a very high signal to noise ratio this was mainly because the q matrix uh, followed an adaptation in every iteration and hence reduced the noise levels in in the estimation process although the qe ekf and the second order ekf were computationally heavy and took more time the main reason for this was because of the multiple uh, extra iterations which were required as well as because a better approximation of the uh, nonlinear system had to be uh, had to be done to conclude our paper consist consisted of a comparative analysis of d six different kalman filter variants for state of charge estimation of lithium ion batteries it was clear that the second order ekf performed the best in terms of state of charge estimation due to a better uh, taylor series approximation when it comes to signal to noise ratio the q adaptive q adaptive extended kalman filter provided the best noise reduction due to the adaptation in the q matrix although the qekf did uh, did take much time uh, take a higher amount of time for computation main, mainly uh, due to the moving average equation uh, and overall the normal extended kalman filter was the most computationally efficient now based on these findings for, uh, in order to have a accurate state of charge estimator the the second order ek was the most optimal while if if a smoother uh, estimation was required then the qekf was the most optimal estimator yeah, here are uh, here are a few uh, important references which were used in the presentation and were used in the the paper and hence here i would like to conclude my presentation and i would like to thank all the viewers 